Okay, we're now going to show you how easy it is to add new devices, be it to a mesh network or um, as part of APDesk. Um, in this demonstration, we will um, piggyback off the existing mesh network, but we will use APDesk and uh, the internet connection of that device which we will add to APDesk will in fact actually um, be a client of the mesh network. So uh, we fired up our device and we go to AP Desk here and we will find it here under Detached Devices. We can then select a device and go to Attach AP. We will assign it to the same network, Henley on Clip. And then we've got a profile here and we will call it, this is a Xiaomi um, 4C. Uh, they are very cheap. Uh, you can get them for around uh, 225 South African Rand, which is about 17 US dollars. Um, their performance are fairly good and um, the stability of the most recent um, OpenWRT is, uh, is quite surprising. Okay, we select our hardware model, which is, uh, we've got free, supporting free Xiaomi's currently. We have this uh, Xiaomi 4C single radio. And uh, obviously with mesh desk, you can even uh, have single radio mesh networks. We support up to three radios in uh, for, for mesh networks and obviously also for other hardware, up to three radios. So here with the internet connection, we have many options right now. We will just use, uh, we will select Wi-Fi client and then we will specify our SSID that this device um, is going to connect to. So um, we'll just do this for demonstration purposes. And we have uh, Okay, so now we can um, select the channel what, 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 that we want to use. If we use this, um, the Wi-Fi client, what will actually happen, it will connect to the strongest SSID of, uh, that's broadcast of this, my SSID, the strongest, um, the closest access point. And uh, if it's on a different um, channel, the system will adapt automatically, it will override it. So this is just um, if, if, it's, um, if it's connected via LAN, for instance, it will use this channel, but it will depend on how it gets its internet connection and then it will auto adjust. So we can say save, there you go. Okay, so now it is under the attached devices and uh, We'll just do some magic in the next um, uh, video clip to show you that it's, uh, re re we'll reboot it and then show you how it is part of this network. Okay, so now after we added our AP uh, to AP disk in the overviews, you will see there's now um, one online AP slash router and then obviously the meshes is also or everything is green right now so we can go down to ap desk and we can go to attach devices and here you will see the device it will also give you some information about the internet connection you see it's proper connection it's they are very close to each other but you get to decent connection this is now the client connection but we also use it as an ap so this device um, runs as client ap mode and um, we can view it here. Um, obviously, there's now um, no data collected yet. It's, it's busy collecting data. But we can see it's been active the past seven days. So there's uh, the connection that, um, that, that happened. It's been off for a while, so we put it back onto the network. So it will start collecting data soon. Okay, so we'll do a speed test while we connect it to this um, 
access point which is uh, running as a uh, client to the to the mesh network and also as an IP. Let's uh, run the test and there you go. Like I said, I was quite surprised with the performance of this device. In fact, I had to check is uh, if I've if I connected to the right SSID because in the past the speed wasn't this this good. Um, I think definitely there's a huge improvement on OpenWRT side, so you can get this type of speed on these entry level devices running as a client and AP. Obviously, you can also be fancy. You can even mesh this, but uh, obviously it will take a, um, a further performance knock. But if uh, if you can live with that, you can even make a mesh hanging off a mesh. 